decided to make a pit stop and check out Aztec Ruins National Monument in Aztec, New Mexico. It's an old Pueblo village that was occupied for about 200 years and then mysteriously abandoned around 12 or 1300 AD. It's been restored since then and made into a national monument. This place is very peaceful. planning to come check this place out. It was a little bit out of the way, but I'm definitely glad that I did. It's a very beautiful, powerful place. So I decided to stop at the Four Corners Monument where you can stand in four states. It's uh, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona, right on the border of all four. It's pretty cool. standing over there but according to Google GPS this is the spot that's the four corners I don't know who to trust I made it to Utah. This is my first time ever in this state, so I'm really excited to be here. It is, uh, I'm in Moab right now, like just south of Moab, Spanish Valley, Moab area. I found a free campsite on freecampsites.net. It's called uh, Yellow Circle Road, and it definitely looks like it's okay because there are RVers and campers pretty much everywhere, all the way down this road, all the way to the bottom of it. Actually, you can't even see a bunch of them around the bend, so I think I'm gonna be okay for the night. So I'm just making this uh, this roasted garlic quinoa that I picked up from, uh, from Walmart the other day. Just make a pretty easy dinner. I was gonna roast up some bell peppers too, but I'm running out of time. The, the sun's gonna be down before I even get a chance to finish up the quinoa, so I'll probably just eat the bell peppers raw and munch on them and save some of them maybe for like an omelet or something like that in the morning. Quinoa is just about done. It's pretty close. It might not look great, but it smells really good. Beef jerky, quinoa, some raw bell peppers. It's kind of a weird dinner, but it'll have to do. So I was just sauteing up those bell peppers uh, to throw into the rest of the quinoa. I was hoping to make like an omelet or some sort of egg thing, but last night when I was cramming stuff into the fridge, I managed to break all the eggs and spill them in the fridge. So now I gotta clean that up and there's definitely not gonna be any omelets anytime soon. So this pretty large group of people ended up joining me at the campsite here last night. I didn't really talk to them at all. Just kind of like waved a couple of times, but they kind of crashed the campsite a little bit. It's all good. It was a really big spot, so I guess it was worth sharing it with some folks as opposed to just taking it all for myself. So the fridge is clean, the cooking's done. It's time to head to Arches National Park. The line to get into Arches is insanely long. It's like all the way, like almost onto the street. I don't even know if they were letting cars in because it was so long. They were just shooing us on and telling us to move on. So I'm not gonna be going to Arches, at least not for a little while. I'm thinking I might try to go to Canyonlands and just wait in the line there and try to get in there. Maybe it'll be a little bit quieter than Arches, but it is a crazy weekend here. It's Memorial Day weekend. I guess I didn't really plan that very well. I didn't realize how busy it was gonna be, but there are people everywhere. So the line to get into Canyonlands is also very, very long. There's like people getting out of their cars and just like standing around and <laughs> just looking at the scenery because it's gonna take so long to get in. But 
the way I look at it is I drove all the way here to come check this out just because I didn't plan right and came in the busiest weekend of the year accidentally doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy it so I'm just going to wait in line and hang out and try to get into the park. Hey how's it going? Good. Could be a long time before you get in the park if at all. Uh, busiest day of the year. Never seen the line this long. Well, uh, how long do you think? Like three hours you said? Or? Uh, I mean it could be 30 minutes. It could be hours. How are you today? Not bad. How are you doing? Doing quite well. All right you're all set. Have a great day. Thanks very much. So I made it into the park. It took about 30 minutes or so. I'd say that this first view here makes it already worth the wait. Canyonlands has been pretty incredible. I think I'm gonna head over to Arches now and try to give that a shot. It's getting towards the end of the day, so I'm thinking things are gonna start to wind down a little bit there, and maybe I'll be able to get in. So waiting to the end of the day was definitely the right call. Got right into Archers National Park within like two or three minutes. There was hardly any line and now I'm here exploring. after seeing some of these arches is just like how did that get there how does something like that even exist of course i'm going to look it up the second that i get internet access again but it's really cool it's definitely something that's pretty neat to see i'd say overall my first full day here in utah has definitely been a success i mean yeah it's been pretty crazy with all the people everywhere for memorial day weekend but i got to see two parks and spend the whole day outside so that was pretty awesome i'm going to start heading north now towards interstate 70 and probably end up staying like at a truck stop or a rest off somewhere tonight. I want to find somewhere like a restaurant where I can sit down for a few hours and do some work this evening. I'll talk to you all in the next video.